What's going on, everybody? It's Dave with Beast Bets. It is Friday, Flex Friday on Prize Picks, April 7th. We got the Masters. It's Good Friday if you subscribe to any of those beliefs. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the picks, guys. Sorry I couldn't get an MLB video out to you yesterday. It's been very crazy, and we're just going to keep it really quick and brief for you guys, give you some great picks, and get you on your way to get a card in for some of these early games. Don't forget to smash the like, hit the subscribe, so you don't miss any of my videos that I drop on a daily basis. Um, let's get right into the picks, guys. Love ya. All right, guys, over on Prize Picks, let's hop over to MLB, and we're going to pitcher strikeouts. Our cover guy, seven and a half pitcher strikeouts is his prop. Uh, in the four last games that they have documented that bleeds into last year, he has achieved, or in five, he's achieved this in four of them. It's Hunter Green we're talking about, guys. He's playing Philly, a very tough offense, as we know. We're taking the over on Hunter Green, okay? Uh, he pitched 34 games last season. I'm sorry, 24 games last season. And in 10 of those, he achieved this prop or more. Some of them hitting as much as 11 strikeouts. Hunter Green has a cannon. Let's go. That's why he's our cover guy. We're not even playing around. We're getting right into it, guys. Hunter Green, first pick. Over seven and a half pitcher strikeouts. All right. Next up. Next up. Lucas Giolito of the Chicago White Sox playing Pittsburgh, who's actually looking like they have a team this year. They got a squad. Will the Pittsburgh Pirates be decent? I don't know. I think the bullpen is what's going to hold them out uh, for however long. So... We are taking Lucas Giolito over five and a half pitcher strikeouts. Just look at his last five game performance, which again bleeds into last season. As you know, uh, they're not showing spring training stuff. They just, it goes back to last year. So Lucas Giolito, we're taking the over on five and a half pitcher strikeouts, guys. Boom. Lock it in. All right. Next up, no runs allowed in the first inning or first run allowed first inning runs allowed. We're going to the Oakland-Tampa Bay game, and we're going to say that there is one first inning run allowed. We're going to take the over on it, guys. Let me pull this up right here. First runs, first inning runs allowed. Where are we at here? Tampa Bay-Oakland. Right here. Ken Waldachuk and Zach Eflin, we believe there is going to be a run. We have just under a run, like 0.9 in the projection model coming out, guys. That's enough for us to jump on it. Baseball, again, we're, we're making that transition of thinking differently how we make cards. If you follow me and you watch my basketball or my NBA videos or even uh, some PGA videos, we approach things differently. And the stats are it's way different to bet on. And pick cards for player props in baseball. So going to take the over on first inning runs allowed. Ken Waldchuk, Zach Eflin. Hosey, Uriquiti, and Sonny Gray. Houston, Minnesota. 4-10 game. We're going to take the under on first inning runs allowed. So, no run, first inning. There it is, Sonny Gray. Let's go. Hosey, Uriquiti, throw some freaking strikes. All right, guys. Where's that one at for you? Boom, 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 boom. Again, that's a 410 game right there. Boom. All right, next up, guys. Bases. Total bases. Why did I lose it? Where's that? Tyler O'Neill. Here he is. Tyler O'Neill. Gotten on base three out of his last five games. Playing Milwaukee, um, you know, we saw Tyler O'Neill last year. We saw the St. Louis Cardinals and their offense. It just it was mind blowing at the end of the year last year, uh, and we we see that continuing here again. This is a later game, guys. But Tyler O'Neill, we have him projected to get on base twice tonight, guys. So let's go. Let's get us a little hit there, Tyler O'Neill. Come on, baby, hit a home run. Why not? That's fine. Get four bases. All right, next up, Chicago White Sox, 0.5, like I told you guys, and we do, and we've been crushing them. Go back and check the videos. We love to attack the 0.5 base prop, and it's Rami Gonzalez is the next one. We're going to take, if I can find him, there he is, 0.5, baby. I all, oh, look at this, last five games, achieved it, Pittsburgh, 
like we talked about their bullpen, not the greatest thing ever. Um, I, that was a crazy game yesterday. So I, San Francisco beat the tar out of them 16 to 6 or something like that. I got to look at the score. But I also like the Luis Robert one and a half total bases. But we just love to attack this 0.5 prop, guys. We just love it. So there's your six picks. Hop over here and give you this. Hunter Green over seven and a half pitcher strikeouts. Lucas Giolito over five and a half pitcher strikeouts. Ken Waldachuk and Zach Eflin to not or to allow more than 0.5 runs in the first inning. Jose Yerquitty and Sonny Gray not to allow one. No run first inning on that one, guys. Tyler O'Neill to get on base once. And Rami Gonzalez to get on base once. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I hope you have a fantastic day. Great Friday. Flex Friday. Put your uh, lineups in. Put your picks in after 1030 so you get that free $20 free play that they're giving out on Price Pulver Flex Friday. It's uh, how they do it over here on Prize Picks, guys. So make sure you smash that like and subscribe. I love you. Have a great weekend. See you tomorrow.